me seem so free today? No, I haven't. She hasn't answered any of my calls, any of my texts, and we're about to lose our streak. Hello? Who is this? Hello, Sophia. Hello everyone, I'm Luke Raines. I'm Tyler Gaines. And, and you're, you're watching, watching The Sting. Sting. We'd like to welcome you all back. And um, the promotional video you just watched was for our upcoming web series, Minus One, done by our very own Broadcasting 2 students. I can't give too much away, but the creators have been hard at work bringing this project to life. Episode one of Minus One will air February 5th, so be sure to check it out. We also have a very special announcement to make. Yes, this video you are watching right now is our 1,000th video for our YouTube channel. Can we get a round of applause? <laughs> the YouTube channel was created on December 10th, 2014 and has been home to all of our videos ever since. Also, we have almost 400 subscribers and if you're not subscribed yet, do, do it, it now. now. Yes, 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 so make sure to subscribe. Let's kick things off uh, with Sports with Tano. Hello, and welcome to Sports with Tannis. I'm your host, Tannis Beek, but you can call me Tano. Let's get on to sports. We have two basketball games this week. Uh, Grace Christian is going to be at home on the 5th. And we're going to be at Stewart County on the 6th. You know, basketball season is going great right now. Great right now. I'm so lit right now. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. So, uh, yeah, make sure to support the boys and girls. Uh, both teams are playing well. Let's go on to uh, my personal favorite sport, wrestling. Wrestling's doing great this season. It's by far the best we've done, probably in school history. And uh, so we have Region 3 individuals at home the 9th and the 10th. So, go and support. You're wrestling us. And back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Tannis. All right, now let's head over to MVP of the Week with Kelsey. Hello, everyone. I'm Kelsey Sullivan, and I am the new MVP anchor for our show. And today I am interviewing Audrey Cox for her amazing basketball season so far. Okay, Audrey, how long have you played basketball? I've played since I've been five years old, so that was 13 12, years. 12, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, what is your favorite part of basketball? I love dressing out. I love playing with my sister. I love um, AAU. I just love the whole thing. Uh, how many points do you score at, on average per game? I score around 15.2. That's really good. Thank you. Um, are you interested in playing in college? I'm very interested. In fact, I'm actually depending on that to pay off my tuition. Um, have you looked at any colleges yet? I've looked at Tusculum, I've looked at Spring Hill College in Mobile, and I've looked at Montreat College in North Carolina. Well, I hope it all works out for you. Thank you. Um, what was your favorite memory throughout the four years that you've played high school? Um, my sophomore year, we had a foreign exchange student named Kaho. You may remember her. Yeah. She, um, she really added a whole lot to our team, and we won a few games, so. That's a good memory. Um, how do you feel about this being your last year for high school? Basketball? Honestly, I know I'm going to miss it later on, but like I'm so excited to better my career and play in college that I'm not really too worried about it right now, but I know it's just going to it's going to be one of those things. Okay, and what was your best year and why? I think my senior year this year is my best year because um, I've had a, I've had good stats and I've had a lot of attention from coaches and um, you know just went, we've won a few games so that feels good. Well, I hope playing ball in college gets you places and I hope it all works out for you. Thank, Thank you. you Appreciate for it. letting me interview you. Thank you for interviewing me. Uh, I'm Kelsey Sullivan with Audrey Cox. And thank y'all. <laughs> thank you, Kelsey. Up next, we have a special interview with teacher Bob King about the broadcasting program. 
Hello everyone, I'm Luke Rains and today I'm here with Bob King. We are going to be asking him a few questions about the broadcasting program. So, hi Mr. King, how are you? I'm, I'm good, glad to be here. Nice. Um, so, what is one thing that you would like for students to take with them after they leave the program? If I bump into a student on the street 10 years from now, a former student, a mm -hmm. graduate on the street 10 years from now, um, if they tell me they still remember some video stuff, that always makes me smile. What really makes me happy, though, is to know that they're successful in life. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot that you can learn from the students, although they do learn from you mostly. But over the years, what are some of the things that they have taught you? Um, I've learned so much. I, I still do every day. Um, they've taught me to be more flexible, um, more engaging to stay connected with what's going on at the mm -hmm. moment. Um, it's, uh, it's just joyful working with students. It's a very nice program. And in what ways has it affected you over the years? I've really gotten a lot deeper into, into video stuff. You know, before um, I'd read books and I'd, mm -hmm. I did work in video before I got here. Um, but at this point, uh, it's like I just live and breathe it. Yeah. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. This has been Luke Rains, Bob King, signing <laughs> off. Thanks, guys. Let's head over to Christian for some lunchtime interviews. Right, today we're here with Gracie Law and we have some questions about her senior year. When did senioritis start to kick in for you? So senioritis kicked in around October after homecoming because everything kind of just seems to go downhill from there. What advice would you give to an underclassman? Uh, study really hard. Don't ever take a class for granted. I mean like don't ever like sleep on it. You gotta actually study. You can't just fool around all the, all the time. How has your experience as a senior gone so far? Um, it's actually been really stressful. Uh, senior year has probably been the hardest year, so I think for underclassmen that should be the year that you have to crack down. The next question is, who is your favorite teacher and how have they helped you throughout your high school career? So my favorite teachers are Miss G and Miss Klaus. I love them both to death and they're my uh, therapy partners every single day after school. <laughs> and um, they give me academic help and they're just good people to be around. Who is your favorite teacher from the last four years and why? Oh, for sure Coach Long. He's the coolest teacher ever. He's a gangster. Thank you. When did senioritis start to kick in for you? Probably when we came back from Christmas break. All right, and what sports or clubs have you been in that have helped you get through high school? Um, I'm involved in student council, youth and government, best buddies. How has that helped you? How has it helped me? Yeah. Well, it's helped me get involved with the school and meet new people. And I don't know, it's taken, um, I don't know, it's made my high school career a lot shorter. All right, well, thank you for your input on your senior year. Thanks. <laughs> what is your favorite memory from high school? Uh, probably dunking on Coach Long with a mini goal. <laughs> that was pretty fun. He deserved it. And what sports or clubs have you been in that have helped you get through high school? I was in, I played soccer my freshman through junior year, but I quit this year. Um, but playing soccer has definitely helped me manage time. So that's helped in the classroom in terms of getting stuff turned in on time. Nice, thank you, Michael. Thanks, Christian. And if you haven't checked out the school's newspaper, The Swarm, go give it a look. And make sure to go check that out. They give us a ton of support, so we're gonna give it right back. But on this week for our Pet of the Week, we have Bella. She is a Maltese Bichon mix who belongs to our very own Jack Johnson. She's eight years old, loves sleeping, cuddling with her family, and barking at all kinds of strangers. Well, that about wraps it up for this week, I think. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Luke Rains. I'm Tyler Gaines. And, and this, this has been The Sting. sting.